Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, upgrade to Windows 10 free. Windows 7 has kind of uh, expired. Uh, Microsoft is not supporting Windows 10 anymore. So your only choice is either uh, upgrade your machine to a Linux platform, which I did a vlog not too long ago. Hopefully you guys check that out. Or you could just upgrade to Windows 10, right? And it's still free. A uh, couple of things that you need to know why is it free one you have to have a legit windows 7 key already applied to your machine for this to work correctly okay so that means if you downloaded your windows 7 operating system within a torrent site and you use whatever serial number they provide it there's a good chance it might not work sad face right all right so let's get started so uh, first thing that we need to do is back up your machine. It is extremely important that you back up your machine before you do a major upgrade. Okay, this is a big step in your life, right? You're upgrading your Windows 7, which you love so much, to Windows 10, which a lot of people do not like, right? So we are going to click on the start menu. We're going to type in backup, and you're going to get an option that says backup and restore. Let's click on that. From here, we are going to click on set up a backup. It's going to start Windows backup. Let it process. And once it's completed, you're going to get this. Best practice is, is to get an external hard drive, plug it in. Uh, if you don't see it here in the list, just click on refresh until you see it. Once you click on refresh and your hard drive, your external hard drive is there. You're going to select it. Uh, make sure that your hard drive, your external hard drive is big enough to back up everything on your machine. Got it? Once you select it, click on next. You have two options. You can either let Microsoft choose what it wants to back up for you, right? This is the recommended, or you could click on let me choose and pick what you want. Uh, I'm going to do the recommended one. Click on next. It's going to give you a nice little review of what's going to be backed up, all the user folders and system images, if that's included. For this to work correctly, for you to do a backup and a restore, uh, you need to also create a system repair disk. If you click on the link that says more information, you get a nice little tool tip. Uh, that shows you how to do that. We are going to go over that pretty soon, so don't worry about that. So once you read that information, just uh, you could close that window and just go back inside the setup backup and click on save settings and run the backup. And it's going to start running. Uh, depending on how much information you have stored within your Windows 7 machine, it should take a long time. Uh, once it's completed, you should see this. Now it's time for us to create our system repair disk. Now what you want to do is on your left hand side, click on create a system repair disk. Once you click on the link, you're going to get this window. And for this to work, you got you actually have to have a DVD. I don't know who's going to use a DVD uh, because DVDs nowadays are kind of obsolete. But if you have a DVD, you could do this route and then just click on create disk and just follow the prompt. Okay, cool. There's other ways to back up your system. The most important areas within your machine would be your desktop, my documents, and downloads. Okay, if you have programs, most likely you have to get the exe files and the serial key to reinstall that stuff within your operating system. That's another route. Okay, just drag and drop stuff from your desktop, my documents, C drive, and also downloads, and also retrieve all your installation files with the keys to reinstall your software. That's the other route if you don't want to do this, you know, this built in uh, backup and restore approach. Now we need to upgrade for free, right? So I'm going to provide this link for you guys. This link is going to take you to this website. And once you get here, you're going to download tool now. It's going to start downloading. Once it finished downloading, you're going to click on it. You're going to get the user account control. Click on yes. It's going to start loading up. It's going to indicate that it's getting a few things ready. Uh, you have to accept the license and terms. Again, it's going to continue saying a few things are getting ready. And you get the option of two things. You can either create an installation media from a flash drive or a DVD or an ISO. Or you can upgrade this PC. Most likely you're going to pick upgrade this PC now because again, your Windows 7 is not being supported anymore for Microsoft. We need to upgrade it to something that Microsoft is supporting. If you don't want Windows, hey, you could just, you know, back up your machine, right? And then uh, install Linux operating system. That's free and that's constantly being updated all the time for free. Why not, right? So we're going to do upgrade this PC now. Click on next. It's going to start processing. It's going to start downloading the Windows 10. 
It's going to start verifying the downloads. It's going to start creating the Windows 10 media. It's going to start preparing it. It's going to start getting updates. It's going to start checking PC. Now, this part right here is critical. If your license is not legit, it's going to prompt you to enter a license. If your Windows 7 is already uh, licensed with a legit key from Windows, it will go through and start installing Windows 10 on your machine. When it bypasses that part, you're going to get this. You got more license and terms that you need to accept. Choose what you want to keep. Uh, it's going to bypass that. Uh, it's going to start checking for updates. It's making sure that you're ready. You're able to click on change what to keep. And this is what you want. Keep personal files and apps. Keep personal files only or nothing. Uh, nothing will completely wipe your machine. You don't want that. You want Windows 10 to copy everything over from Windows 7. So I left it as keep personal files and apps. Clicked on next. Install. It's going to basically kind of like not shut down, but it's going to get to this. It's going to start installing Windows 10. It's going to reboot a couple of times. You're going to get this window. It's going to start installing the Windows 10 onto your machine. It's going to reboot constantly. It's going to tell you, please wait. Once everything is completed, you are here at the login screen. So just hit enter space bar, login. Once you log in, it wants you to pick your privacy settings. Go over this. Don't just click accept and go right away. Read this stuff because a lot of stuff is turned on that a lot of you guys don't want, like your location, uh, diagnostic data, uh, stuff that Microsoft is actually analyzing your machine and that data is being sent over to their servers. I don't think you want that stuff. So just make sure you read that stuff, disable whatever you want, and then accept. And then once you're done, you're inside your machine. You're good. Windows 7, upgrade it to Windows 10 for free. Again, for this to work correctly, you have to have a legit key on your Windows 7. Microsoft is still providing a lot of us Windows 7 users to upgrade to Windows 10 free. Take advantage of it. If you do not want Windows 10, your best route is back up all your files within your desktop, my documents, C drive, and your downloads folder. Make sure you have all your EXE files and your keys to, so you can license them and move over to a Linux operating system and make sure your Linux operating system supports all the software that you want. Linux is free. You get free updates. You're constantly getting new uh, firmware updates and all that stuff. Or go with Windows 10. It's up to you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Also subscribe. Share out the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.